course on creating a newsletter using MailChimp. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll create a MailChimp account. Now once we've done that we're going to go in and have a look how we can set up a newsletter using MailChimp's templates. Now to edit the actual images we're going to be using Photoshop. If you haven't got Photoshop don't worry we can use GIMP. Now GIMP's a free image editing program that will allow you to edit the images the same way that we do in Photoshop. And once we've done that we'll be taking those images and putting them into our newsletter template. But we'll also be creating a custom template within Dreamweaver. Now if you haven't got Dreamweaver just watch along but it shows you how you can override the templates that are in MailChimp itself. Now once we've done that and we've got our newsletter all created, ready to go out, the first thing we need to do is to set up our subscriber list. So I'll be showing you how to set up a subscriber list and how to manually add users and also how to import and export those subscribers. Now after we've done that we need then to link that to our newsletter so we'll basically be creating a new campaign then we'll be sending that campaign out and we will be testing to make sure that campaign went out properly to different mail clients such as Outlook or Gmail. And once that's done we'll have a look at how we can look at the reports shown back to show back track back data on people that have opened up the, the actual newsletter itself. As an added extra I'm going to show you how to create pop-ups that will appear on your website to capture subscribers. I'm also going to show you how to set up a form and take the embed code to also put it into your website. So I, my subscribers have asked me this question a lot about expanding on newsletters and creating a course. So this hopefully will cover everything you need to use to actually to do to, to actually create a newsletter and we'll be using MailChimp um, as our carrier to deliver our mails and to track data. So I hope you enjoy this course. I've had fun making it and enjoy.